Fortinet 2030 is a three-year European Union-funded project conducted by nine partners from eight European countries, including industrial companies, universities and research institutes, who join their expertise to contribute to the vision of cooperative and network automated driving technology, aiming for a 2030 deployment horizon. The main objective of Autonet 2030 is to design, develop and validate procedures, algorithms and systems for interaction among cooperative network vehicles of various automation levels. Connectivity and automation will follow their own paths and will evolve, but at the end of the day they will converge and they will continue together. I am glad that Autonet 2030 has really supported this concept and really provided some uh, critical technical background that will support the convergence between connectivity and automation. Automated driving systems will definitely converge together with car-to-car -to -car communications in the future. Uh, in this project we have shown the power of uh, enhancing automated driving with car-to-car uh, -car communications and the predictive power and the more reliable sensing is something that is uh, definitely uh, makes automated uh, driving much more uh, reliable and safe in this combination. Autonet 2030 has performed research in the field of corporate automated driving and has achieved the validation of the Autonet 2030 V2X extensions for cooperative automation and contribution to the European standardization process. Development of efficient distributed control algorithms of high-speed cooperative vehicles and corporate decision-making of low-speed cooperative vehicles. Design of onboard sensor-based architecture integrated across different vehicle platforms based on a decentralized approach. Compared to purely sensor-based automation, the cooperative automated driving developed in the project aimed to leverage communications and cooperation in order to achieve higher situational awareness and therefore drastically improve safety, comfort and traffic efficiency. The Autonet project contributing mainly to three technologies that are uh, enabling the uh, autonomous driving on the roads. First of all, uh, cooperative maneuvering were developed and uh, uh, integrated in uh, three different types of vehicles. Second of all, uh, short-range communication uh, system and uh, connectivity were enabled by Autonet uh, development. And I would say that a uh, very good sensor fusion, data sensor fusion, was also developed and enabling this type of driving. Autonet 2030 presented its results in a final event in Sweden at the end of October 2016. The final workshop, the accompanying technical exhibition and the live demonstrations were held at the Asta Zero Proving Ground and were attended by approximately 75 guests consisting of project partners and external experts. In the first scenario, two automated vehicles from a high-speed convoy. A manually driven car accelerates, following the HMI speed suggestions of the Autonet 2030 system. While convoy messages coordinate the automated vehicles in the convoy to leave sufficient space. The system provides instructions to the human driver to safely merge into the convoy. After a while, the driver decides to make a second lane change. This intention is communicated to the other vehicles while the system provides appropriate instructions to change lane and leave the convoy. In the second scenario, an automated truck and a manually driven car from a high-speed convoy. An automated car, controlled by the Autonet 2030 system, accelerates while convoy messages coordinate the other vehicles to open space. The automated car safely merges into the convoy and the distributed control maintains a common speed regulating appropriate distances. We're really considering mixed mode traffic. This is what we'll see for the foreseeable future 
we'll see a combination of automated and manually driven vehicles on the roads and perhaps we'll see that for all of the future because there will always be a demand from a certain set of drivers that they would like to drive the vehicles themselves. And as an engineer you need to take that into account. You need to be careful not to design your system in such a way so it doesn't acknowledge that some of the vehicles might react in a different way. With its successful demonstration of cooperative automation scenarios of both industrial and societal value, the Autonet 2030 project can claim considerable contributions towards shaping the path of cost-optimized and widely deployable automated driving technology. Autonet 2030 worked in a number of technical issues that needed really very strong support from all the partners involved in the project and thus I would like to thank all of them for all these three years of cooperation that resulted in a quite successful project with some significant technical results that will really contribute in the development and deployment of connected automation.